Hello everyone. I'm delighted to present the first Education Wales report, delivering on the commitment from our National Mission Action Plan. First of all, I want to thank all our teachers and everyone working in our schools for their work over the last year, as well as those in government and all the other education partners who are dedicated to raising standards and extending opportunities to all. I am determined that we continue to work together to deliver an education system that is a source of national pride and enjoys public confidence. Bringing together some key indicators as well as our priorities for the next year in this Education Wells report is an important step in improving public engagement and systems transparency. The information has been selected to help build an understanding of what is happening in our education system. These are not school accountability measures. They simply provide some information on some of our shared priority areas over the last year, including reducing class sizes and raising ambitions and attainment. So, for example, the proportion of learners achieving A star to C at GCSE remains above 60%. We saw a reduction in early entry and more people choosing academic exams. Clearly, this was a challenge for performance measures, but right for raising standards and aspirations for all of our students. We've also seen a culture change for science in Wales. GCSE entries were up by 50% with more learners gaining A star to C and more achieving the very top grades in biology, chemistry and physics. From this summer, we're shifting our performance measures for secondary schools so that we move the focus from average to raising our aspirations for all learners. And there are more details on this at the Welsh Government's website. In terms of categorisation, 85% of primaries and 68% of secondaries were in the green and yellow categories. And there was a 29% rise in the number of green scores compared to the previous year. We're also moving forward with our investment to reduce infant class sizes. Over 100 schools have benefited from this investment. It targets the largest class sizes where learning and teaching needs to improve and where there are high levels of deprivation. Looking forward, our new curriculum and assessment arrangements will be made available for feedback in April, building on extensive engagement and work with our pioneer schools and practitioners. And we will continue to work with the teaching profession on measures to reduce bureaucracy and unnecessary workload, building on the success of our investment in school business managers. I, of course, recognise we need to do more, working with teachers to identify and support learner mental health and well-being. Our record investment in teacher development will help make that a reality. In addition, our new national approach to professional learning will gather pace this year, giving schools the time and resources that they need to plan ahead for the new curriculum. I know that there is a huge amount of reforms and improvements taking place. But I also know that we share that commitment to keep raising standards for all and expanding opportunities. Publishing this data is a new and transparent way of doing things in Wales. So thank you so much for your time. Diolch yn fawr.